Hi, I'm Greg Fox from Fox Family Heating and Air right here in Sacramento, California. If you're out there trying to find a career that's rewarding, challenging, and pays well, I think HVAC is the right field for that. Today I'm going to give you 12 good reasons why being a certified HVAC technician is a good career choice for someone. And I even have a bonus reason after that. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Number one is you don't need a college degree to get started. As a high schooler, I could tell that I wasn't going to college. Unless I got a scholarship, my family didn't really have enough money to send me to college. I joined the Air Force right out of high school. And when my term ended, I headed out for the civilian world. HVAC was a career that I found was easy for me to get into. I started at the bottom of my field, but I quickly worked my way up amongst my peers. Number two is good wages. When I started, I, I never really realized that I could make enough money to support my family. I started out very low in pay, but I didn't have any experience either. Within one year, I had doubled my pay because my supervisors saw how hard of a worker I was and that I was pretty good at it. With an HVAC career, you'll find that you can make a damn good living as something that you're really proud of doing. Number three is the independence you have on the job. One of the greatest aspects of being an HVAC technician is the independence you have during your workday. Whether you're an installation tech, a service technician, or a sales technician, you'll find yourself in a job where you're not having to be around a huge crowd at work. You pretty much get to go about your job and do what you want, say what you want, and how you want. Sure, you have calls or installs that you have to go to, but you won't have any supervisors looking down on you all the time like some other jobs. Number four, it's a career that will always be in demand. As you've probably heard already, HVAC is a career that is never gonna go away. Robots and AI are far away from being able to walk into a home, business, or grocery store, walk around, troubleshoot the problem, get the repair part, braze copper line sets together, enlarge returns, cut in supplies, install an HVAC system, and the list goes on. Fact is, it takes real people with real skills to do our job. And the field is only gonna grow for the next several years, meaning there will be more and more jobs available for you to acquire. Number five, as an HVAC technician, your job isn't very repetitive. Sure, you're out there repairing systems on a daily basis or installing equipment regularly, but the application of where you're doing it not only changes daily, but from call to call. You never know what you're going to get into on the next call. That's too challenging for some people, and HVAC isn't for everyone, but for others, we thrive on it. Number six, helping others. Whether it's at the end of the day on an install or a challenging service call, you'll probably feel like a genius when you find something as simple as a dirty filter that wasn't allowing air through the system. The best feeling we get as an HVAC technician is when we can get an older couple, a family with children, or someone with medical conditions that really needs a comfortable home cooling again. When a grocery store that has a lot of food at risk of spoiling is saved by your expertise, you're probably gonna feel like Superman as you walk out the door with your tool bag and your head up high. Our goal as an HVAC technician is to provide thermal comfort and good indoor air quality. We work with thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, and heat transfer. A lot of people find this confusing because air isn't something that we can see. We can feel it, but trying to explain what we just did to get them back up and running can be a challenge. Installing, servicing, and maintaining equipment engineered to do this is what HVAC technicians all around the world love to do. It's one of those jobs that not everyone can just pick up in a day or two, which makes our jobs more secure than some of the other blue collar trades. Number eight, you can really become a jack of all trades in the HVAC field, especially if you go into the installation side of the field. As an installer, we have to be able to read blueprints from an engineer. Not only are we setting equipment, but we're involved in plumbing gas lines and condensate drainage, working with high and low voltage, constructing new platforms, cutting in supply registers in rooms, enlarging returns, and even cutting holes through rooftops to place a new unit. After replacing some of those units on the roof, we find ourselves having to patch up the roof around the area of the curb to make it look nice again. We've already discussed the other areas that you'll be good at. Thermodynamics, balancing airflow, heat transfer, refrigerant flow, and how to make the air quality better in a home. 
This is probably my favorite reason I became an HVAC technician because it really makes you a jack of all trades. Number nine, the challenges, troubleshooting. If you're really up for a challenging career, you'll find that HVAC is a great career for that. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to be good at this job, but it does take a solid understanding of the fundamentals and a good deal of patience. Just when you think you have the answer to a problem, something else comes up and now you have to deal with that. All the trades that we just talked about, plumbing, electrical, carpentry, roofing, thermodynamics, and others can all come into play when it comes to solving the myriad of troubleshooting issues that we face in the HVAC field every day. Number 10, you learn sales. Some of us get the opportunity to sell to our customers. We find the problem and try to convince the customer that they should pay for the repair to get their system running again. Other times, the cost to get the system running again isn't worth it to the owner, so you end up selling a new system to them. You're also out there trying to sell indoor air quality to homeowners so that they can enjoy their homes better. A lot of people don't know that the air in their homes is sometimes worse than the air outside. Now, selling can be a sensitive subject because some people think that HVAC technicians and salespeople take a little bit too far. Our industry has gotten a bad reputation compared to others because some companies only pay their technicians by how many parts they sell. It's a fine line because technicians can get greedy and not care about taking people's money just to line their own pockets. But at the same time, they do have to be able to put food on their own tables and support themselves during the off season. Number 11 brings me to my next reason why HVAC is such a good job. Most people don't use their AC or heating all year, which creates what we call shoulder seasons. During these times, some companies don't have any work for their techs. Other companies have maintenance contracts that need to be fulfilled. But if you're in the residential and commercial field, I'm sure you're going to feel the seasonal changes in your hours at work, which is why you'll need to discipline yourself to save money when you're busy for those slower times of the year. Number 12. Last but not least, some companies will let you take your work van home with you. This saves a lot of time and money since you don't have to drive to work to get your van just to be at your first call which turns out to be right by your house in the first place. Having your own van means being able to stock the truck your way, have certain tools and other knickknacks set up just the way you like it. And here's my bonus reason. I noticed in the first year of doing this trade, I built quite a bit of muscle from all the carrying, lifting, squatting crawling, and other aspects of the job. It's a physical job which can add some weight to your body, but hopefully it's the right kind of weight. Some guys get bigger in the belly because they're working harder and they go home and they eat a lot more than they normally would. I feel like my first year in install, I added probably about 10 to 15 pounds of muscle on my body, which really filled out my shoulders, arms, chest, and legs pretty nicely. Well, I hope this helps in your quest to find the right career for 2020. HVAC is a field that's not going away anytime soon. People will always need to be comfortable in their homes and offices. I have truly enjoyed my time as an HVAC technician. Sure, I've found myself in some interesting positions that I'd rather not be in at times, but I think that happens with every job. The pay is good, the job is interesting, and it's different every day. The challenges we face keep us at the top of our game. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right and if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.